If there's been one predictable thing about 2020, it's been unpredictability, especially in the movie business. The next few months will bring us a plethora of new flicks that will either get extremely limited theatrical releases or forego the multiplex altogether to focus on home release. Fans of the 1989 classic Bill & Ted's Excellent Adventure and its 1991 sequel Bill & Ted's Bogus Journey have been pining for a third movie for decades, and they're now getting their wish. Bill & Ted Face the Music will return to the now middle-aged heroes as they grapple with their failure to come up with the world-changing music they were supposedly destined to write. Bill, we've spent our whole life trying to write the song that will unite the world. Why can't we just go to the future when we have written it? Whoa! Stars Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter are both back on board, and the stellar supporting cast includes Samara Weaving, Bridget Lundy Payne, Kristen Schaal, and William Sadler, reprising his role as Death from the second film. Bill & Ted Face the Music was originally slated for theatrical release on August 21st, but it will now release to a very limited number of theaters on August 28th and simultaneously on video-on-demand platforms. Disney's live-action Mulan remake endured multiple delays before the studio settled on using its streaming service Disney Plus to bring the $200 million picture into American homes. While the film will still receive a traditional release in overseas markets where that's possible, stateside viewers who are subscribed to Disney Plus will be able to view the flick at home on September 4th for a premium $29.99 fee. They will then have access to it permanently, as long as they remain subscribers. Disney was just pushing out its massive marketing campaign for Mulan when COVID-19 threw a wrench into its plans. While the Mouse House insists that this is a one-time deal and is not indicative of a potential new release strategy for future titles, industry analysts will be watching the film's performance very, very carefully. Mulan stars Liu Yifei in the title role, with a supporting cast that includes Donnie Yen, Jet Li, Rosalind Chow, and Jason Scott Lee. I'm Thinking of Ending Things, adapted from Ian Reid's 2016 novel of the same name, is a Netflix original, and it's the first live-action film from idiosyncratic filmmaker Charlie Kaufman in over a decade. The movie is ostensibly the story of a man named Jake bringing his girlfriend to his childhood home to meet his parents. Where it goes from there, we can't be certain, but knowing Kaufman's style, we're pretty sure that things will not be what they seem, and we'll be left wondering what the heck we just watched. Starring Jesse Plemons, Jesse Buckley, David Thewlis, and Tony Collette, I'm Thinking of Ending Things hits Netflix on September 4th. Liongate's supernatural horror film Antebellum was slated for release in April of 2020 before being pushed back to August, and finally secured a video-on-demand release for September. The film stars Janelle Monae as Veronica Henley, an author who inexplicably finds herself transported to the mid-1800s. Antebellum is the debut feature from short film and video directors Gerard Bush and Christopher Renz. In addition to Monet, it stars Eric Lang, Jenna Malone, Kiersey Clemens, and Jack Houston. Look for it on all of your favorite video-on-demand platforms beginning on September 18th. Take Henry Cavill as Sherlock Holmes, add in Millie Bobby Brown as Sherlock's little sister, and you've got Enola Holmes, based on the Edgar Award-winning book series by Nancy Springer. The British mystery film was scripted by Jack Thorne, the writer behind the BBC miniseries His Dark Materials, and directed by Harry Bradbeer, who was at the helm of the widely acclaimed second season of Fleabag. Originally pegged for a theatrical release, the film's stateside distribution rights were acquired by Netflix in April of 2020. It will hit the streamer on September 23rd. Although the film was originally intended for theaters, Netflix scooped up writer-director Aaron Sorkin's historical drama The Trial of the Chicago 7 due to the coronavirus pandemic. The film focuses on the court proceedings of seven individuals charged with various crimes during the period of civil unrest which accompanied the 1968 Democratic National Convention. You can expect plenty of Sorkin's characteristic rapid-fire dialogue delivered by a cast of consummate professionals, including Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Eddie Redmayne, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, Mark Rylance, Sasha Baron Cohen, and Jeremy Strong. It was of the utmost importance to the filmmakers that the politically charged film get the widest possible audience ahead of the 2020 presidential election, which led to the deal with Netflix. The trial of the Chicago 7 will make it onto the streamer in just the nick of time. It's expected to drop on October 16th. The tale of a homeschooled, wheelchair-using teenager who begins to suspect that her mother is harboring a dark secret, Run was intended to make its theatrical debut in advance of Mother's Day weekend in 2020. Alas, it was not to be, but the thriller will soon be available on Hulu, hopefully in time for Halloween. Writer-director Anish Shaganti is responsible for the 2018 screen-centric thriller Searching, and star Sarah Paulson knows a thing or two about bringing the scares, thanks to roles on American Horror Story and the upcoming Netflix series Ratchet. In announcing the move to Hulu, Shiganti observed, The film is about a girl who's been quarantined at home her whole life. Watching it the same way should be a fitting experience in 2020. The film's streaming date has yet to be announced. 
Coming from director Shauna Festi, Run Sweetheart Run centers on a young woman named Sherry who agrees to a blind date with a guy named Ethan. When Sherry realizes that Ethan has sinister intentions, she's forced to try to make her way home on foot through the dark streets of LA with her date close behind. Starring Ella Belinska and Pilou Aspect, the impressive supporting cast includes the likes of Betsy Brandt, Emil Amin, and Clark Gregg. Stateside rights to the film were acquired by Amazon in May, but the streamer has not yet announced a release date. The 1877 novel Black Beauty, His Grooms and Companions, the autobiography of a horse by Anna Sewell has been adapted for film many times, but the tale of a young girl coping with the loss of her parents by bonding with the titular horse is a timeless one, and the latest update on the classic story will arrive packed with talent. The cast includes Mackenzie Foy in the lead role of Joe, along with Claire Forlani and Ian Glenn, and, as Black Beauty's inner voice, Kate Winslet. Originally slated for a theatrical release, the family film was acquired by Disney to bolster the library of Disney+. The company has yet to announce a release date, but we expect to see Black Beauty hit the streamer before the end of the year. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite upcoming movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.